Well, hey everybody, what's going on? Today I wanted to share with you a project that I recently completed, and I guess I would call it maybe a rolling layout table, crafting table slash utility cart. The intent behind it for me, or the purpose I guess for building this, was that I wanted to have something for if I'm doing sewing projects or if I'm using the Cricut Maker, the vinyl cutter, that I can have a nice surface to lay things out. Also, I wanted it to be mobile so that if I wanted to put this out into the middle of the room, I can use and access all sides of the table. So I can, I can use the entire surface. So let's talk about maybe the construction of it. So the first thing is the cart. You'll notice the red casters down on the bottom. Those I got from Home Depot. The original casters that came with the cart, which I got years ago from Harbor Freight, and they still sell the cart. I think right now it's about $140. You could probably use their coupon or wait till it goes on sale and get it for a, a much better price than that. Uh, but I've had this for quite a while. The cart originally came with two casters that swiveled and then two casters that were uh, stationary. But I didn't like the mobility that you got with that. It, it made the, the cart kind of uh, wonky to move around and I wanted something that was gonna to be able to, to move and pivot quite easily. So that's why I replaced those. The tabletop is, the top board is meant to be easily replaceable or this could be, you could think of it almost as a sacrificial thing. Since this thing is pretty much going to live inside unless it gets really marred up or something like that, which I don't really envision too much, it'll probably stay on here for the life of the table. Uh, but this is what we used to call masonite. It may have another name for it. It's just a, a quarter inch, or not quarter, I think it's eighth inch board, and it's real slick on one side and the other side is uh, almost like a textured side uh, that's like in a grid shape, real small grid. Uh, the bottom of this is just three quarter inch plywood. Both of these I got at Home Depot and I, I had uh, cut these down later. Originally I had thought, well, I'll just make a tabletop and I'll just set it on the cart. And then I thought, well, I don't want to bump into it by accident and have it fall off, especially if I've got a bunch of stuff on there. So I thought, well, what I can do is just put a couple of little cleats on the underneath and on the back, and that would keep it you know, from wanting to move around. And then I thought, well, it would be nice if I could have the, the tabletop to where I could lift it up and have a hinge on the back, and then I basically have underneath here some covered storage, which I'll, I'll show you guys here in a second. And then the challenge for me became, okay, well, I didn't want to have um, hinges that came up on the table. I wanted to be able to utilize all of the table without having a bunch of stuff on here. So I did end up using a piano hinge. The other stuff that I used was just scrap wood and things that I have laying around. So I'll show you on the table top. It does hinge up and then so this is just, again, the plain plywood, and I'm not going to do anything because you're never going to see it. And these bolts, I don't know whether I'm going to cut them down or just sort of leave them. But again, this, and I, the reason I use these particular things, and I don't know if you can, how well you can see them, um, but this is just what I had laying around and the bolts that would actually work um, for me. So let me bring you guys in a little bit closer and I'll, I'll show you. Uh, but before we do that, I did want to have something that would keep the dust out. And if I wanted to, I can keep supplies in here over on the handle. I can also keep tools and stuff in here, but I can have the tabletop come down and it will provide pretty much a dust free environment for things. So let me bring you, let me bring you over here. And you know what, before we do that, um, I'll just show you. It's relatively easy to move the thing around. 
Uh, and again, that's why I wanted it. I'll show you on the back. Let me get this over here and lined up for you. So you can see back here, I just did, uh, the, I got the piano hinge and then I've got my bolts in here. And when we have this opened up on the other side, I'll show you kind of what I had to do and some of the things I needed to figure out to get this to attach and be a strong attachment point. Let's go ahead and talk about how I assembled this and the ideas that I had for it. The cart itself is just injection molded plastic. And if you can see on the side here, it does have a bit of a lip and there is a little bit of flexibility to it. So what I wanted to do was to stiffen this up and give it some good structural strength. The idea that I had was I took a piece of half inch plywood, some scrap that I had, and I used actually two pieces of that. So I have one on the inside and one on the outside. To that, then I added a three quarter inch pine board that I had. And again, it could have been something different. Uh, I did want to go with something that, that was at least three quarters of an inch, just again, to give it some good structure and also that I could have something that the screws could go into and get a good bite in. And then, so I've got the piano hinge attached to that. Uh, to get the holes to make sure everything lined up, I just made a quick uh, template with my hole here, and then I knew where the top of the table would be. And when I started out, what I did is I drilled my center hole first, or the center bolt hole first, and then I attached that, and then I came and I did all the other holes that I had spaced out. And once I did that, I then clamped the board that was going to go on the outside and then just ran the holes through. And then when it came time to do this, I did sort of the same thing. Because of the way that the lip is here and the way that this sits on top, I needed to make sure that the board here didn't come up and sit proud of, of this, which it sits under here. And so when this sits flat, uh, I needed to, to bring this pine board, had to be sort of raised up and then I had to mark on there on my as a witness mark on the plywood that was over there I clamped it and then again I ran the holes through all at this point through all three points of wood hopefully that doesn't it's not too convoluted uh, and and makes sense so basically each time uh, to make sure that the holes would line up I was always running it through coming in through this way and making sure that everything was nice and level. Uh, and that way, you, you know, that these weren't staggered and up and down or, or that, you know, made the, the board kind of sit kind of um, a little crooked so that it, it wouldn't sit level. The table top when it was down would then sit level. So that is pretty much it. And like I said, I did use a piano hinge on there. Um, and what I can do is let me pull this out into the room and I'll just show you kind of the back and do a little bit more close-up stuff. Um, but it's, it's pretty easy to do. I probably overthought about it and I went through several different scenarios of what am I gonna do, how am I gonna do it. Do At one point I had thought, well, what I can do for the, the inside is just do maybe individual little blocks and then I thought, ah, that's gonna be too much. So for me, this turned out to be probably the simplest and easiest solution. Um, and if, again, if I were going to probably do this again today for this cart, um, it would go much, much faster. Uh, can I, let me see if I can bring you in a little closer. Well, maybe not. Let me, uh, let me get a little bit better camera angle here for you. A little bit more of a close-up on the attachment system on this. I do have a big washer on the other side, and I'll show you guys that here in a second. So I have um, the bolt with the washer on this side, the board, another piece of plywood, the cart, this piece of plywood, a washer, and then I've got my two 
nuts here. And then this acts as a jam nut so that it won't want to back off. So this is the back side and you can see the uh, bolts on the washer and then the piano hinge. So I did want to show you that the cart actually moves around pretty easy. It's pretty mobile. The uh, casters actually work quite well on the carpet and of course uh, they would work well on tile or uh, if you had a concrete floor, if you wanted something like this for out in the shop or something like that. You could, if you wanted to have a smaller work table, you could elect to take the handle off here uh, and get rid of it. I decided that I wanted to keep it, you can see a little bit better, because it does have quite a few little cubby holes in there that you can keep odds and ends or pencils or tape measures, things like that. The only other thing that I might do is get a, I'll cut a, a small stick so that if I wanted to, I can, uh, it would just rest up against the side here and then I would have it, I'll put a piece of wood, a little cleat, so it could go up and sit up against there so that I could have it propped up. Uh, I suppose, in theory, you could have it, uh, if you did that, let's get this turned around where you could see, if you had it propped up and you did a couple of sticks, you could have it propped up like this and it could, depending on what angle you wanted to do, you could have it to where it could be almost like a mini drafting table as well. So again, for my purpose, what I wanted it to be was a nice slick surface that if I'm doing fabric, it's easy to move the fabric around. If I'm doing weeding on vinyl cutouts and uh, things like that, I can kind of move them around and uh, the surface stays relatively clean. You could also, if you were going to use this out more in the shop, this can be a sacrificial piece for you. And I think you can get an eight by a four by eight sheet of this for around maybe twenty twenty five dollars something like that. And uh, again, the, the measurements for me are 30 by 48. Uh, and so you could, uh, if this got all messed up, you could easily just undo the small little screws that you got and put a new nice clean uh, piece on top and you can start fresh. All right, so this is the conclusion of the crafting layout rolling cart table that I made. If you got any comments or questions, just leave them below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Talk to you next time.